Hey guys, it's Addie back with the, another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys basically how I make my um, tenant moisturizer, tenant sunscreen, whatever you want to call it. Because a lot of you guys have been like, you know, wondering how can you protect your skin but still look cute and, you know, even especially since I got these light patches on my chest that is currently slowly but surely going away. Um, it works for that too if you want to cover eczema or light patches um so i'm gonna be showing you guys basically um how i make my moisturizer it's very very simple and i'm gonna show you how guys how it looks um when i'm done so before we get into i want to show you guys my natural skin complexion because you know sometimes um the foundation might not add up but i do like using the lighter foundation rather than the darker foundation that's just my preference um and here's my legs so you guys can see so i just want you to see me before i put it on so it's gonna be like me showing you like a how-to video and i'm gonna show you like how it looks when i'm applying it so this is before and i'm gonna show you afterwards but let's get into the video um make sure whoa before we you know start the video um before we go any farther Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up button, and turn on your post notifications so you know the next time I post a newer video. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. So I usually would make a big batch of this, but since it's just a little sample size, excuse my nails guys, they look horrible, I know. I've been chewing on them, it's just been bad. I'm gonna get them done. <laughs> but yes, this is just a little sample size because I'm making a video. Um, so I'm just showing you out of this little top right here, but you can surely use a container and make a bigger size. But I'm just, it's just a how-to video, so I'm just showing you real quick how to do it. Like I said, you can make a bigger batch or get a container with a top on it so you guys can save it and keep reusing it. But right now, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So basically, you guys know I've been rocking with this foundation for so long. And um, this is the matte poreless. I feel, I feel like it fits my skin really well. Uh, this is the foundation with clay. So it definitely helps with not getting oily or sweating. I feel like this is so sweat proof. So when you're making this, please make sure you get a foundation that's sweat proof. So when you're outside, so when you're outside using this tenant moisturizer or tenant sunscreen, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't drip off your face. It does not budge. When I tell you guys this does not budge, yo, I love my tenant moisturizer. I'm like, this is the greatest DIY tenant moisturizer ever. So this already has SPF in it that I just put more to protect my skin. So um I just basically add some just want to add some you definitely want to add some color if you may be darker than this then you can add your color and if you're lighter then make yeah just make sure you add your right color you don't have to add my color of course but this is just a tan color um for tan skin okay uh Fendi got a lot of uh, different foundations actually and they kind of they're really like skin like that's why i love it so much and it's drugstore affordable this is super affordable guys so you ain't gotta worry about being like, super expensive um that's why i'm trying to add, add like minimum you know ingredients but this is basically the banana boat sport performance sunscreen and it is a 30 spf like I said, it already has FPF in the foundation, but I just put more. And you can put this on your face and body. So it never broke me out or anything. Um, I'll leave the retail price right here on the screen. I also have a kid one. <laughs> Y'all probably like, why are you using the kid sunscreen? Um, I use kid sunscreen because um, they're more earth friendly. The ingredients that they use in some of these sunscreens are not earth friendly. Like um, there's three ingredients that make up sunscreens that really help um protect the skin and i'm gonna leave it on the screen right now so you guys can uh know that those sunscreens are very harmful to the earth and i love the earth so i try to like use sunscreens that does not contain it and like works for a more natural way to protect your skin um so i'm not using this as much just for that reason because uh it it, it has the most common ingredients in this sunscreen that is not earth friendly but it does protect the skin those three ingredients are important for sunscreen those three ingredients are the main reason your skin is protected from the skin 
even though it ain't going to be completely protected from the skin because it's going to be some type of uv coming into your skin which is good because you need some type of vitamin d but yeah i'll show you guys that sunscreen if i can find it i'll look for it for you guys but i like using that one i try to i kind of swatched this out for that one but for the sake of this video and that some people might you know it, it's, it's nothing wrong like i'm not bashing anybody who want to use the sunscreen or sunscreen with those in particular ingredients but i'm starting to leave them alone so i'm going to use this for the sake of this video because some people might not mind it you know or, or i can't bash people like oh no don't use that that hurts the earth <laughs> you know i don't want to be cool for cocoa buffs and then you know that's not cool i don't want to treat any of my supporters like that so you can do what you want i can't make nobody do what you know do anything so yeah this is the sunscreen that i'm using in this video so basically it's just like uh you can twist it close or you can twist it open like that if you have this sunscreen let me know how you like it it's a pretty cool sunscreen and i'm just gonna squirt some not a particular amount however much i feel like i need Why am I always using this for everything? But like, yeah, I'm gonna use this to mix it up. Um, you can also add vitamin E in here as well. Just for extra protection from the UV and the sun. Um, I think it's not so much as a, it's, it's, it's about the sun because I really don't like, you know, getting too much of a tan because I start getting discolorated because it's not like I got all my clothes off, so I be light and dark in certain areas. And I just like to have a uniform complexion. So it's not about fully about the sun, though. It's about the... I'm put that name right on the screen because I forgot. But that that ray is very damaging for your skin. And it, it, it makes you old super fast. So I try to avoid that one. I'm just show you guys this on my skin. I'm also going to put it on my legs, too, so you guys can see how beautiful and translucent like just just even and bright fairer it makes your uh, legs um especially if you suffer from strawberry legs like me with them little holes in your leg like uh it definitely even it out without making it look super fake so i'm gonna apply this and i'll be back <laughs> okay so um excuse my hair i gotta fix my hair do my baby hairs and all of that but this is how it looks very natural i definitely wanted to do a tinted moisturizer that looked natural and not too ghostly so that's why i use this because um even though after today i'm gonna stop using because i told you about the situation and me trying to save the earth but i definitely use this because it does not have a ghostly white tint so that's why i really like as you can see it look really luminous so um yeah that's just how my face look and i'm, I'm gonna come back and show you guys when i apply it to my chest and my legs and if you try this make sure you guys let me know how much you liked it instead of just buying oh my gosh i looked up how much is tenant moisturizers and sunscreen with sunscreen included and all that it was like 40 50 35 i'm like i can make this at home with what i got so if you the type of person that love diys i make diys all the time on my channel so i definitely try to improvise for you guys um also if you have any questions concerns on this particular video or any video of that matter please post it in the comments i know there's a lot of youtubers out here especially some skin lighting youtubers like you can ask some questions and they never get you back you can support them all you want and they don't even answer your questions you know what i'm saying so that's why i rush to y'all questions because you know who genuinely cares and who don't and i really care about you guys so when y'all write me i'm there when y'all dm me on instagram i'm there and if i'm late or delayed don't worry about it it's going to come to me and i got you i got you trust me i got you i'm not perfect but i got you <laughs> but anyway let me just uh apply it to my chest and legs and i'm come right back okay so i put it on my chest and it just reduces you know the look of impurities whatever so i got it on my chest and my face and I'm going to show you guys my legs. I love my legs. Like, this makeup, guys, make sure I go pick up this makeup. If you're my shade, this is 332. And I just dropped the top, so I don't know the name. It's something. I put it on the screen. I just dropped the top. But um, this is the great body makeup. Like, you want to cover 
impurities, whatever, or anything, make sure you shave first because I didn't shave. So it's, the application not that great, but it, it is nice. I see a big difference, but it's better when you shave and you don't got no hair on your leg. But yeah, I'm just going to show y'all how this look. Um, I had to make a bigger batch for my legs, of course, because my legs is thicker. So yeah. Um, but thanks for editing. You guys ain't had to wait. <laughs> but I'm about to show you guys. Let me rub it in a little bit. So crazy. Show you guys my legs. Wow. Like, even cover, like, my dark knees or whatever, because I'm still working on them. But my legs look way fairer. See that? And my feet. I didn't put it on my feet, but you can imagine how nice my feet would have went if I had it would have been if I did. But love, love, love it. Can't see my little strawberry legs that much. So this is free of octanoxid, oxybenazone, and it's paraben free, which is good because para parabens does lead is research to lead to cancer so i'm trying to sleep or should we stop using things with paraben in it as well so this is the kiss and stream that i purchased from fam dollar um so yeah it protects you from the uva uvb rays and it is water resistant up to 80 minutes you want to keep reapplying your uh sunscreen and i love this sunscreen <laughs>